Hello. This overview discusses a setup where an inventor user needs to deliver the details on an air conditioning unit to an MEP designer who will be using it in its Revit projects. All of the project information and communication will be handled by our data management solution, Autodesk Vault Professional, in combination with Basal. To exchange the information between the two engineers, the inventor designer will be using the BIM exchange functionality within Inventor to deliver a simplified RFA family that can be used in the EMAP design. First, let's take a look at the setup between these two sites. Depending on the relationship and the bandwidth between the two sites, different configurations are possible. The first solution, where both sites are working within one environment and where bandwidth is excellent, is to have both sites connect directly to the same data management server using VPN. The second possibility, where both are still working within one environment but bandwidth becomes more of an issue, is to set up Vault in a replicated environment, which I already discussed in another video. In this case, let's discuss a situation where both sites are actually different companies, where both do not want to expose their IT infrastructure. In short, there is no way that either one will open up their firewall to let the other company in. So how do we deal with this? Well, as our EDM offering is actually a hybrid solution consisting of an on-premise and a cloud-based system, we can easily set this up, making sure that the IT security requirements on both sides have been met, while communication and information exchange between the two companies is optimized. So in our case, we will set up a master vault environment on both sides, and when communication needs to happen, the on-premise system, Autodesk Vault Professional, will be in charge of sending and getting information from the cloud solution, BASA. Because Vault, which sits behind the firewall, initiates all communication, we can keep the firewall on both sides closed. Now, what happens when one side is looking at implementing Vault, but for the time being is still using a traditional data management solution, such as a shared drive in a Microsoft Windows environment? Well, Basar comes with a tool called Basar Sync that allows a user to simply store data locally where synchronization happens between the local folder and Basar. This allows easy migration from the traditional system to Autodesk Vault Professional. In fact, in this presentation, I will use a setup where the Revit site has already implemented Vault and is using it for all its engineering data handling. When manipulating data on this site, the border of the screen will be green will be calling the Revit user Mark. The other side is actually in the middle of the implementation and is already using Vault for all of its inventor designs. However, when sending Revit data across, the user, who we will be calling Alice, is still using a Windows folder structure and Bossa Sync to send the data across. When Alice is manipulating data, the border of the screen will be red. Let's first take a look at Mark's setup. One of the key aspects for Mark is that he understands in which projects an MEP component is being used when changes occur. To solve this problem, he is using a Vault concept called Items, where each family, obviously being managed by Vault, corresponds to an individual item. In fact, think of an item as a container that can contain documents. In this case, each item contains one corresponding Revit family. We can easily navigate from item to document and vice versa. The family we're interested in here is called the chiller. Now let's take a look at how communication between sites has been set up. Mark is using Project Sync within Vault to get data from or send data to Bussar. We simply set up a Vault location to sync with the Bussar location. He has also set up notification on the Bussar side so that when a change occurs, he gets notified. Alice, on the other hand, has access to the same Bussar site, but she'll be using Bussar Sync. The setup is similar to Project Sync. She maps a local folder to the same Bussar location. Going back to Mark, he's already using a placeholder for the chiller, so that when he's being informed of the updated Revit family, he can simply replace the old family with the new one. So the real question is, how can he trace all of his projects where this chiller is being used? He'll be creating a master item for the project that contains all of the family items that the project is using. To do so, 
We'll use the RDB link subscription tool to export all of the Revit information as an access database. Once this is done, we are linking this database into another one, which runs a couple of queries to list all of the families being used and how many times they've been used. In the end, we join all of these queries together into a table that we can then export to an Excel list. Because we're using the Revit database as a linked file into the query database, it's relatively easy to do this for all of our projects. Simply export from Revit, run the query and export to Excel. Why are we exporting to Excel? Vault can actually import a whole set of entries as items through a CSV file with a specific format. So once the Excel list has been correctly formatted, notice the first entry is the project file as the master role top item and the families we've listed will be created as child items. Because these family items already exist within Vault, we simply update them with the link to the project file. The project item itself will receive a link to the actual Revit project. Because we also included quantities, we can also look at the bill of materials for the project. We can now browse from a project to a specific family and understand what other projects it's being used in. Let's take a look at Alice's design. It's actually completed, but now she needs to create a simplified version and export this as an RFA Revit family file and send it across. As the design has been finished, we're not going to check out the inventor assembly. We're simply going to open it and extract the RFA family. For the Revit environment, all we are interested in is the actual look of the component and the details on the connectors. So we'll be treating this component as a black box with in and out connectors. First, we focus on the objects relevant for Revit. Then we simplify these forms and we get rid of the rest by creating a simplified IPT file. Then, next thing to do is verify the design's compatibility with Revit primitives, so it will truly become a Revit family. As you can see, we have an issue with the two connectors not being recognized. We'll be helping out by stating that these are sweeps. To add just a little bit more detail, we'll create a cavity in the main body where the two pipes extrude. We'll also change the material on the two tubes because we're using a common material database across our design tools. This material will also show up in a realistic view representation in Revit. Lastly, we'll be assigning connectors with specific system and flow parameters to the two pipes and assign classification and a manufacturer to the part. Now everything has been set up, all we need to do is export this simplified part as an RFA file and store it in the Bossar Sync folder. The folder already contains the older bounding box design. All we need to do is replace it to create an updated version on Bossar. From Mark's point of view, after being notified through the Bossar notification system, he simply starts a task ordering Volt to pull in the chiller from Bassar as a new version. Volt can use a dedicated machine called the job server to run this process in the background. When looking at the different versions of the chiller, when the job has finished, you'll notice we now have a new version for the family. So again, all we need to do is check where the family item is being used and go to the different projects. So let's update the Millennium Rail project. As these families are being managed by Vault, we can use Vault's powerful search engine to locate the file using the family's parameters. Once located, all we need to do is reload and replace the original family with the new design. Finally, we update the project file itself in Vault. Thank you.